Hey gamers, Gavinator here and welcome back to Loco Islands. Popping in right where we left off, it's been a minute, but it's fine. We're here in the nether. Geiger counter's popping up for some reason, don't know what's up with that. Got the lava in the background, got our little hut here, garden a motherfucking portal. You already know. So I got some much more manageable objectives in mind today. It seemed like the Twilight Forest is really kicking our ass. The objective we are on is the objective to be on in our progress. So Fighting those Minotaurs, making our way through that labyrinth. That is what we're supposed to be doing right now. But with the way the RPG stuff is set up, I hit our little alt button up here, see what we got. All of our skills progressing. It looks great. It looks fine and fucking dandy. But the armor that I'm able to wear, the weapons I'm able to use, it's just not quite enough. It's so fucking dangerous in here, yo. Shit, auto vein mining. Come on. Hey, first try to get that fucking achievement. <laughs> Bitch. Oh, we are fucking fighting. What the fuck is even that? Topaz? Alright, so looking on the map here, it looked like this was going to be the fortress. Set a little temporary marker and literally walked for a few seconds and bam. Glow cap from Project Vibrant Journeys. Got different mushrooms, let's fucking go. Man, the sounds right now, y'all. I'm not trying to be crispy, you bitch. You're welcome. Man, whatever movement he was just doing, that shit looked cool, man. I'm not fucking about it. Power attack. Get your ass with the stun, bitch. Let's go. Ooh, give me the loot. How's finna get an upgrade with all this glowstone? I'll tell you what. Fuck. this hmm murder ravine hey there we go got a little bit of loot going what do we got flint and steel and a gold sword fuck, give me that chest Drop his fucking backpack! Well, that was educational. Overall, that wasn't that bad. That was like normal nether type of stuff. There was a big group of enemies there, but honestly, that's not even why I died. It was just being a little goofy, getting a little too close. That backwards dodge roll, though, that shit was poggers. We need to keep that type of moving up. Ooh, get his ass, get his ass. Damn, it really jumped up fast as fuck. Now, you know what I think about this fucking golden sword? Get out of here. Anybody feel like dropping their skulls today? No. Bitches. My fucking hell. Oh, I'm dead. Oh. Not finding shit for chests right now, though.
Here we go, here we go. Some gold and a saddle. Saddle's nice. Another one. Damn, really? I found nothing decent yet. It's all just like ingots and fucking... Ah! Uh, I'm gonna say this and it's gonna be so disappointing after how long I had to kind of search and travel, journey, and just kind of eventually end up outsmarting myself just to get to the nether. But realistically, the nether's not a big objective right now. Like finding a boss in there isn't something that's on my mind. It's more just nice to have for the materials I can go in there and get. Having that fortress discovered off rip is fan-fucking-tastic though. More specifically, I did have a bigger focus for the video today. The last episode we talked about our population machine, showed it off very quickly, talked about how it was going to be for regular villagers versus our mine colonies mod, all of that stuff. And yeah, like I said, want to get some villagers moved over here. So let's take a look at our map here. Town and Crevice Town, so it looks like we have some decently closed villages here. And then out east, of course, we did plenty of traveling. We can see where we've been along, where we found some decent shit. The epic birch village is up there, but that's a decent ways away. Even further away, though, if we take the south path, by the way, anything like that's mapped in, it works just like a regular Minecraft map. Anything mapped in, I have traversed on foot. I've been there. So going all the way down this long ass southern path, check this shit out. I've already teleported over here because I saw that and immediately thought, what the fuck? And you know, that's like a, that's a fast travel point. It's already set up. I go and it's set up literally right here at this blacksmith hut. This is one of the things we were looking for when we did our initial obsidian travels. And uh, an untouched chest completely filled with obsidian. What, what the actual fuck? Got some decent shit from the nether, all things considered. We were barely in there, just a few minutes. Died a couple times. But got a bunch of glowstone here. Let's see just how much we can make. 29, a lot less than I figured, but I didn't do the math, so that's fucking my fault. And our boots are broken. You're not gonna steal this man's chest, though. That's like his whole life. Bruh. Huh. Grandpa. How dare you invade this fine fucking village like that? Yeah, guards, get him. Oh, uh, guards getting his ass beat right now. Oh, he called back up. Look at him, eating on his corpse like they do in Fortnite emotes. I've been trying to think of a good name for this village as we run along because it's literally just a marker for the obsidian and nothing else. And, oh, you know, no. and this place isn't called obsidian. Man, Pickle Rick out here wilding for what? Trying to blow up this poor sleeping dude. Look at this dude. Imagine we kick him out the bed so we can sleep. Who came up with that idea? Psh. I'm busy robbing motherfuckers. Think I'm gonna succumb to death right now? You got me fucked up. Really went past whatever this is. I'm sure I didn't leave it alone if I walked past it. Uh, let's go right in front of it here. Whoa, what the fuck? probably got an achievement when I passed by here that told me exactly what it was. But fuck, I've got no idea. Oh, it's a fucking mansion. It's just made of birch. Oh shit, it's the front door. Watch this. Still lime green, but the fucking skull and crossbows. Can't spend too much time in here. I really don't know how to navigate a mansion anyway, but... I need to get back. I wonder what's in here. Fucking nothing. Of course, the fully armored dude comes after me. Ah. Okay, so yeah, the power attack is a jump attack. I need to see this shit in third person. What are you breaking? You break my pants, bitch? Take this slow ass swing. I don't get it. Is there just all kinds of different wool stored up in this bitch? Hey! Yo! 
Okay, so I was a Vindicator. He straight up power attacked me, bro. He chopped me in half. Like, down the center. Oh, I tell you, so our bed is missing or obstructed. Oh, man. Yo, you know what this means? This is the original fucking spawn. We haven't been here in how long? So if we go this way, we, sh we should see some familiar shit. Maybe some half chopped down trees. Maybe going first person to a fall. Hey, look at that. One block chopped. Whole path of one block chops right here, probably. But check that shit out. Yup. Classic moment right here with the two zombies and the motherfucking... Yeah. Dude, this is fucking... It's kind of nice, actually. Revisit this old shit. Oh, shit. Crafting table. Boom, we just ran up on the coal room, our first little base, our little hideout. The nostalgia right now, it's chilling me to the bone. Whew. Put some work in. Back when I couldn't mine the iron yet. Bro, my voice keeps cracking, I'm about to crack this fucking monitor. You already know I had to do it. Fuck, you can see the house from here. Wow, okay. This is right fucking there. That's crazy, because y'all remember, I left that one unmarked, so it'd be like finding it like a little side door on a Dark Brotherhood type sanctuary, shit like that. Let's grab up every little bit of stuff that we can for building rails, because we're going to have to minecart in some villagers. Here's opening on up that iron backpack we got off that little boss earlier. Literally has another backpack in it, some diamond horse armor and a saddle, some melon seeds, some string... I'll leave all that shit in here. I'll take that copper ingot. Let's see if we can build an enchanting table real quick. Not three, but four pieces of obsidian. Two diamonds and a book. I think that's a worthy sacrifice. Shit. This is a big moment right here, y'all. Let's fucking get it. Boom! Enchanting table. Let's fucking go. Right, we could finally swap out the placeholder block in here. This is an exciting moment. You ready? Bah! Enchanting is completely overhauled by one of the mods. Apotheosis. So that adds hella different types of enchantment tables. And then three little tiers over here. It affects it. Okay, it's got a little something. Measure of strength. Level of the table. Measure of flux. Variance of enchants. Arcana. Measure of quality. So I think that part of this stuff is you get enchants that cost past 30 that are way more insane than the base game enchants. So getting into this as well as getting villages set up to buy specific enchanted books, use an anvil, get set up, and then just overall playing in the overworld and in the nether. The nether's not terribly challenging, it wasn't frustrating me. Doing shit like that is going to level us up to where we can actually successfully get through the Twilight Forest. And I'm all fucking here for it. I'm risking it for the biscuit. I'm going to leave us this one stack of 29. I'm actually going to throw that into the backpack so that I have it to use. I know I've got the ironwood stuff too, but yeah, it's always a good idea to have iron on hand for the different shit that you need it for. I'm going to make a shit ton of sticks real quick. Holy shit. So perfectly with the iron that I had, literally not a single ingot left. 32 in all of these. Okay, given the sheer amount that we just got off of that, I'd say it's a safe bet to just go ahead and lay them all out and try to do the furnace thing. Fucking Steve's getting a workout and a half coming up here. Anytime. That's the type of shit you're up here, you look down and you're like, fuck, I don't want to have to go all the way back down because then I'm going to have to come up again later. Not only is there an access hatch, there's fucking chests set up already, crafting table, and it fenced up. We have a journey ahead of us right here. Mm -mm -mm. I didn't bring enough wood. Still far as fuck from that village. I finally have it popping up with the little icons over there. And they're a little mixed up, but what I'm reading is Birch Village, 898 meters. So in Minecraft, one block is one meter. So that's approximately 900 more blocks. Well, gamers, I'm getting about tapped 
out for the recording sesh today. Had to squeeze it in. It's been too long since I've been able to hop into the local islands and record. I've been craving the fuck out of it. But I've been recording for almost an hour and a half at this point, and it's five in the morning. Neither the day nor the Minecraft episode went as I anticipated. However, I had a great time just exploring, chilling here in Minecraft for once. It's been hectic. I've been trying to keep up with all this craziness, improving with like the levels of the quality of the videos, as well as like the shit that's going on inside. It's just like bam, 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 going faster and faster. And you know, I was thinking about that. Need to take a step back. Just relax, man, relax. Gotta keep the content my own instead of trying to focus up on, you know, all the, the big YouTubers that are paying editors and stuff. Like, I gotta give myself credit where credit's due. But enough with the selfishness because that is gonna do it for me tonight, gamers. Definitely appreciate y'all watching as always. And since you made it this far, I know this shit was lit for you. Go ahead and show it to me. Smash that like button. Share that subscribe button with everybody you know. Make sure you turn on that bell. Get you a little notification every time a video comes out. Because I know it's kind of far and few between. A little random. But it's so worth it. Come on. I know you love this shit. Until next time, later game.